Good morning. Uh, welcome, welcome to uh, Leeds, welcome to Yorkshire. Um, my name is Martin Edmondson. I'm going to hand over to our first speaker, who's uh, Nicola Turner from Graduate Advantage. What our survey found was that graduates in the regions can expect 15 to 18,000 as a starting salary. There are some employers paying up to 22,000. But this is right across the UK. I think it's pretty good. I don't buy into this argument that graduates are getting um, the quality supporting. I don't buy into it at all. I don't see it. You know, when I talk to our service line leaders, are you happy with graduate students and graduates? And they say, yeah, no, it's great. We don't have a fundamental problem. We get good people. Um, and so, therefore, what's the scale of your engaged group in your student body? is an absolutely key question for some institutions. It's definitely a key question for mine. The reason, one of the main reasons why work experience improves your degree result is not because of the work experience, because you've got a committed student with a career plan. Hard Rock recruited all their staff in a tiny fraction of the time using just Facebook and nothing else on a shoestring budget. An amazing success story and turned all the people who were rejected into customers. The opportunity is fantastic in terms of communication. I'm going to ask Bill to maybe share some of the experiences of these things with us. Oracle, big employer um, across EMEA, they have their uh, main office out of Dublin, work across Europe and the UK as well. They've got 70 in house recruiters running multiple Twitter accounts. This is one of their examples of Twitter. Uh, have you noticed the most recent tweet? Two interns required to join their recruiting team in Utrecht. So they're using their, their Twitter network to try and uh, basically virally spread this and, and, and get people to work for them. And I think that we have a wealth of talent um, throughout the UK, particularly in our graduates. Uh, hi, my name's Alan, family a history student, and my view basically is that everyone wants to get a graduate scheme. First point I would like to make is that I have obtained my job totally, 100% by using social media. I haven't applied for any job, I haven't filled in any application scheme. Um, so in, in many ways actually, we don't want people to necessarily have an idea of where their final journey is. Uh, we want them to be open-minded and, and certainly if we're thinking ahead to you know, these people sitting on our exec or PLC board, uh, the idea that they understand the product, they've spent time within sales, they know about manufacturing and distribution, because they've experienced it is so valuable to us and certainly valuable for them. Let's just do something different, and it might not work. There's no research to say we should. We're just going to do it because we think it's a good idea, and if it don't work, then we'll bid it and we'll do something else. And we won't worry about failing, we won't worry about getting it wrong, because this is a new way of discovering. So this afternoon in the Uncompass session, we're going to cover loads of that stuff. I think it's a good idea just to meet some of the people around us, some of the people that face the similar challenges, get to know some of the career service, get to know a little bit about graduate Yorkshire as well, so, and then find out about some of the issues that I'm going to be facing. Um, the, uh, the day itself um, had a lot of interesting subjects and I thought it would be a really good one to come on to. Is that really an issue? It is. Do you think? I don't think it is. Well, the poorest offer. Well, I'll, yes. see, I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you the, pl the poorest. We know we've, we've actually asked them. We've, okay. we've said, and they'll say, if I go on Facebook and I see them swearing, uh, and this where we tell them to close it, but if they don't listen, then there's not much I can do. To close what? Close their Facebook account? Because of some employers are telling us, no. There's a few that were sitting on the table, I was asking. And they say, actually, if they're swearing, they'll think twice about it, their attitude. Uh, drunken pictures, mm. all the, well, yeah, I mean, I think, Disney, in that sense, I think they know how to use social media, students do, regardless. They all know Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, they just maybe don't know the expectations of what graduate employers want from a student presenting themselves on social media. But I think a lot of them don't. A lot of them never heard of LinkedIn. Yes, yeah, so that's why I think that's, that's what we should teach. That's the point you made about Facebook. I would say don't use Facebook uh, to get jobs and stuff. Sorry, just because, I don't just quickly. Because, like, I mean, I use Facebook, it's a social thing. I mean, LinkedIn and stuff like that, yes, but if, 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 if you've yeah. 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 the whole thing brilliant, 
Um, it was really, really interesting. I've learned such a lot. I really enjoyed um, listening to um, real employers talking about what they want from graduates. Um, I also really enjoyed the, the, um, the session on um, using social media. I thought that was fascinating and definitely something I can take back and start preaching to some of my students around. I don't think it falls on one side. I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. A lot of it is also managing expectations of students. I mean, we've talked a lot today about Generation Y and quick responses to everything, but not all recruiters work that way either. And I think our job within a career service is to help to educate the students we're working with that, no, you can't just tweet an employer at midnight and expect to get a response. It's not going to happen. The biggest thing I learnt was certainly the perception um, of um, career service students uh, and other employers, um, I think it doesn't really matter how big your organisation is um, or your stats or your figures, it's certainly the perception and word of mouth from the students and from the career service. When I started my job hunt, I said, no, I'm not going to approach Hayes, Robert Half, that's too much for me, study at Middlesex, leave it, yes. Well, one of the Hayes directors read my blog and she basically messaged me and she told me, oh, I really like your approach, I want to offer you an exploratory chat with Hayes. So that was the way I could get into everything. And, and this morning I was listening four times uh, within being here half an hour I heard the word brochure mentioned. Brochure. Brochure. Written by the recruiters about why you should come and work for us and this is great. Good